Settle for thrilled. Where's Mike? He's with the sitter. Who? You left him with a complete stranger? Denise is a bonded babysitter. She was recommended by the institute where I'm applying for the job. Relax, Scott. Mike couldn't be in better hands. I knew that. I was just checking. Oh, you look great. Uh, where are you headed? See Lake Michigan? I've got a while for my interview. I thought I might stroll over. Well, I got a better idea. Somehow I figured you might. Allow me. To the lake, please. If you will. Come on. Baby, don't you wanna go? Come on. How has our friend Tanel occupied himself today? Well, he hasn't left his hotel suite once. Any visitors? Yeah, that woman staying with him been in and out several times. Tanel is not a man without taste. Who's watching the suite now? Farley. Uh, if Tanel goes anywhere, we'll contact you. Immediately, Norris. I want to know every move Tanel makes. Right. I beg your pardon. I could tell what that one was up to the first time I left my room this morning. My only question is, who are you trying to keep track of? Tanel or me? You've told me so much already, I think you must know the answer to that. What? Are you concerned that I'm going to tell Tanel about the time you and I spent together in Palm Springs? Sasha, I'd say the odds of that happening are slim to none. Don't be so sure of yourself. You're not going to risk losing everything Tanel provides you. Don't overestimate my risk. I'm not in love with Tanel. You're not in love with me either. You hurt me, Mason. You used me to get close to him. You're the only man I've ever known who actually made me feel cheap. You know that was not my intention. Do I? Sasha, I'm not the vengeful type. We never spent that much time talking, Mason. So I don't know how you can tell what type I am anyway. You only know how good we were together. And I think no matter how you try to look at it, the idea of me making love with Tanel drives you crazy. Am I right? Only when I think about it. You do what you have to do, Sasha. So will I. Yeah. Yeah, what, what about that area off Arroyo? You know the one I mean? Look, CW, I'm just trying to make sure we haven't missed anything. No, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go out myself again, but I'll be in contact by the radio. 
Are you sure the APB went on unbar? All right. Yeah. So where is she? Robert Barr's private plane is still sitting on the runway at the airport. If he tried to take her out of town by automobile, you... Oh, who the hell am I kidding? He could, he could have taken her anywhere in the world and I wouldn't have a clue. I don't think he'd ever try to hurt her. Sophia, we're talking about a man who murdered someone, escaped from prison, and reconstructed his entire life to keep it a secret. I think he would do anything to keep from going back, so kidnapping Eden would be no big deal. We don't know that he kidnapped her, Bruce. Where the hell has she been since yesterday afternoon? He knows I'm the only man who can put him back in jail. As soon as I escaped, he had to do something. So what does he do? He kidnaps my wife. It was, it was, it was easy. I'm surprised he hasn't called in the phone and tried to make a deal. I know that you hate him. I hate him as much as you do. Since he's been in town, he's torn my family apart. But I don't think he's holding Eden hostage. Then why isn't she here? If she wasn't with him, she'd be here. I don't think that she was forced to go, Cruz. I think she went on her own free will. No one can know we're here. You don't think anybody's going to come looking for us? I'm not going to find us until you remember everything that happened the night. Look, all I've done is try to remember exactly what happened on this yacht, okay? I don't remember. You will. You have to. I just want to make sure the children are okay. This isn't a game. I'm fighting for my life here. I've waited ten years for this. We may not get another chance. Now here's the log. Everyone who was here that night is listed. I already told you. I don't remember. You will remember. Because you're not leaving this yacht until you do. It's all right. Find Eden and... It's all right. Any word? Nothing. We've looked everywhere. How about Cruz? Well, he's handling it all right for a man on the edge. I know the feeling. Julia. I'm back now. What are you working on? The Edmund case. Oh, the fireman's widow, the wrongful death? Yeah, one and the same. How's it going? Well, let's put it this way. I have to give a closing argument in an hour. I haven't the vaguest idea what I'm going to say, and I haven't been to sleep since you left at 3 a.m. this morning. Well, it's nice to see you're on top of things as usual. I'd love to help you, but I promised Cruz I'd come right back, and I... Good. Keep your word. This is good for you. It's a good rule to follow. Where's Samantha? She's at Mrs. Cobb's. Hmm. Well, then you have everything you need, right? Not quite. I think I was putting in the second load of laundry. It was 4.30 a.m. and I realized that I still needed an answer to that question. What was that? Oh, right, yes. Where were you and what happened while you were gone? I thought you had a closing argument to prepare. Something will come to me, which is more than I can say, for your story. And don't tell me that it's dangerous because I... Well, because... Well, just because. I sit down and tell me. All right. Darling, I left the way I did because I got a tip from Lisa. Lisa? Yes, she wanted to get back at bar, so she gave me the name of someone in Rome she thought might be helpful. And it turned out that that person was very closely connected to Tanel. So you found out about Tanel in Rome? What? His life is not exactly an open book, and you can understand from personal experience why someone would be very hesitant who was close to him to betray him. But they eventually did. 
I got enough information to put me on another trail. But everywhere I went, I had to convince my contacts that I was anybody but Mason Capwell. I couldn't risk calling you. Those people breathe paranoia. If they'd have connected me to you, we all would have been in deep trouble. Well, what happened to change that? I knew Tanel was involved with a lot of heavy-hitting industrialists from all over the world. The Vegas party was a very small window of opportunity. But I never meant for you to dive through it. You called me from Palm Springs? Correct. How did you finally manage to get this person to leak information on Tanel? Did you pay him off? Yes. Hello? Yes. This is Edmonds. Hi. No. No, I'll meet you at the courthouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll be fine. Don't worry. All right. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Her husband is gone and he's not coming back. I guess I should count my blessings. I love you. What? You heard me. I have to get back to Cruz. Good luck with the case. He said it. You want to tell me why Eden would want to be with Robert Barr right now? When you were gone, she was desperate to get you back, so she thought she'd play along with him. What does that mean? That means that he's been hounding her to try to remember what happened ten years ago, she, so she thought she would pretend that she was remembering, so he would release you. But she must know by now that I've escaped. No, not necessarily. Yeah, well, even if she, she doesn't know, she wouldn't have gone off and left the kids here last night without calling and telling someone where she was. So wherever that is, she doesn't want to be there. See, she, she just thinks if she can only remember what happened at the yacht on the yacht ten years ago. The yacht? The yacht is where they've been meeting. Unbelievable. I must be losing my mind. Yeah, this is Inspector Castillo with the Santa Barbara Police. Could you tell me, please, has anyone boarded the Capwell yacht today? It's the Sophia. Will you check? This is an emergency. I'll hold the phone. Thanks. I never thought to look on the yacht. I'm sorry. I should have thought of it. You know, this is so ridiculous. He keeps hammering away at her like it'll be better for her if she remembers what happened 10 years ago. She already knows what happened. He wants to drag her back there is what's going on. Chris, she was a young girl then. She's a woman now. She loves you. I know that. But I don't think he does. I just wish to God she would have stayed away from the man in the first place. Anything she did was to get you back. Yeah. Do you know what course it was on? Did anybody see it pull out? Okay, thank you very much. The yacht is gone. Any word? Yes, we think right. Barr and Eden might be on the Capo yacht. Phillips, uh, this is this is a cruise. I need a chopper. I'm gonna look for a boat. Yeah, I, I am. I don't care about the fog. Just get it ready, please. Thanks. I'll go with you. It's good to see you again, man. Huh? Sophia, if you need to get in touch, just uh, call the station. They can patch me through, okay? Cruz, if the fog is that bad, maybe you should wait. I can't wait. Eden's out there somewhere with the bar, and I'm going to find her. Look at the names. Think about the people who were here that night. Now, what happened? You it's only have to remember. Ten years ago, Robert. You remember all kinds of things from ten years ago. You remember the island. You remember Serenus. You remember the house, the casino. All you haven't remembered is the party. It doesn't bring back anything. You're not even trying. This is not a game. You're playing with my life here. Well, then why don't you just tell me what happened? I'm sick of this. Why? Because I really know who killed Raul. Is that it? Well, if I had information that could have cleared you and not made you go to prison, if I knew you were innocent, then why did I tell someone? I mean, I loved you more than... I mean, why don't you just tell me what I happened? I can't. You're going to go along with anything I say right now, aren't you? Whether you remember it or not. You're going to say whatever you think I want you to say, so I'll take you back to Cruz. Then I'll lose everything. Well, that is not going to happen. So think about the party. Maybe this will help you. You were drinking champagne. Everyone was. The party was going. People were getting drunk. 
Hey, Raul, you're a little loose with the vermouth, my man. What do you care if he's loose with the vermouth? Uh, yeah, hey, listen, maybe you need a little umbrella in there or something. Man, what you wouldn't know what a martini was if you tripped over. Uh, Mason, I could I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Alone? Oh, gosh, well, no problem. I get the hint. I mean, I think I'll just go feed myself to the shark. <laughs> a shark bait. Yeah. Would you cheer up? This is supposed to be a party. Mason, I need for you to talk to Daddy. Eden, are you out of money again? No, it's not about money. I need for him to understand that I want to stay here with Bobby. Oh, well, you see, this is one time, one of those phenomenally rare occasions when I actually agree with our father. Mason, I'm in love with him. You have to believe that. I do. I also believe that tomorrow morning when this boat pulls out of the harbor, you'll be very sad you had to leave Robbie on the beach, and then you'll be wondering who your next conquest is going to be before lunchtime. You know, you don't even know me anymore. I know you very well. I love him, Mason. I want to marry him. And you're a little girl. You don't know what you're doing. I am not a child. He has taught me what is really important in life. Oh, what? Marrying young rich girls for their money? He doesn't care about my money, Mason. Eden, you are a Capwell. Everybody cares about your money. Do yourself a favor. Forget him. You should listen to your brother. Why don't you just stay out of it? I know. What do you know about it anyway? I know you're too good for a man like Robert. He's dangerous. He warned me about you. Who? Raul, he told me to stay away from you. Is that why you killed him? I didn't kill him. You didn't like him. You had every Look, reason. Look, stop looking for easy answers. There aren't Go any. Come with me. Come on. No! Come on! Stop it! Where are you taking me? Easy, come on. No. I won't go in there. It's really something, isn't it? Yeah, you are that. Should I even bother to ask what you're doing here? Not unless you want the standard answer of how I had a few days off. Always wanted to see Chicago. It's a beautiful city this time of year. You weren't really planning on sabotaging my interview, were you, Scott? Even I'm not that desperate, Heather, yet. And what exactly were you hoping to accomplish in this little Mission Impossible? I don't know. I really didn't think about it. I heard that you were coming here. I heard that you were thinking about relocating with Mike. Next thing I knew, I was jumping on the next plane after you. And then what? Whatever. See what happens. What doesn't happen. That's it? That's your idea of a plan? Typical. You like just winging it, huh? Well, I didn't, I didn't hear you offering any strategy. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. I gotta run. Time to stretch your stuff, huh? Yeah, time to try anyway. Wish me luck. something break a leg thank you oh. oh i didn't mean it literally mm, nice catch Scott. anytime listen uh do you think maybe i can go see mike i mean since we both happen to be in the same town and all coincidence right yeah scott i don't see why not you can give me a call up the hotel later okay sure Knock him dead! Yes. You see any boats? Well, I can't even see the water. How high are we anyway? About 75 feet. 75 feet above the water? Give or take a couple. Isn't that a little close? I'm gonna go down lower if we don't see something pretty soon, pal. Well, uh, don't you think it'd be easier to spot a break in the fog if we went higher? 
Yeah, I'll give that a shot. This has uh, never been my favorite mode of transportation. But I didn't think you should be up here by yourself. Well, I appreciate that. You know, this isn't going to be over with when we find her. It'll be as good as over as far as I'm concerned, because I'm going to throw the bastard back in jail for the rest of his life. What about Tanel? He's the one who's been calling all the shots. He's not the one who's obsessed with my wife. We'll deal with Tanel later. Bar, we will deal with now. I can't believe that Eden's little fling that summer has come back to haunt us all like this. Well, that's right. You were there, weren't you? No, I never met Bar. Parisi, I think, was the name he was going by back then. I sure do remember how Eden insisted on staying on the island with him. Dad and I tried to talk her out of it, but, you know, if he hadn't been arrested, I think... Hmm. Hey, Bruce, I'm sorry. I know this isn't what you want to do right it's now. It's not a problem, Mason. I know she was, she was in love with the man. Did you ever meet the guy that Bar killed? Raul? No, I barely remember him. He was the bartender on the yacht that night. You remember anything else about that party? Other than a colossal headache the next morning, no. Why? Well, because something that happened that night is real important to Bar. Look over there, there's a break in the fog. Isn't that a break? Uh, it's hard to tell. Could be a yacht. All right, I'm going down. What are you afraid of? I'm not sure. Hey. Shouldn't be out here crying. There's a party going on. Yeah, well, not for me. Eden, forget about the island guy. He's not, he's not right for you. You don't know anything oh, about him. I do. Mason was telling me that... Mason he, hasn't even met him. He doesn't need to meet him. You're too good for that guy. Honey, listen. You can't trust anybody that grew up on this island with nothing i mean you don't know what those kind of people would do to get what we have oh well, you know you and mason you think that everybody just cares about money no i don't i and i'm not i'm not saying that the guy doesn't like you i'm sure he does who wouldn't no i do i'm just i just think about all that money yeah well that's not what robert wants i mean you and mason you think that but the only thing that's important is if you're born into it. Well, Robert had nothing. And he created a life for himself. And he's better than you or Mason or any other man on this yacht. Well, bitch. You don't have to yell at me, okay? I'm standing right here. It's all right. I'm just trying to help you out. That's... But what the hell are you looking at? This is where it happened. No. You got to finish this. Julia, how are you? Hi. You know those little stress tab packets you were telling me about? I'd like to buy some. What's the matter? What's wrong? I lost a case in court today. Well, I know you're a great lawyer, but not everybody can win every case. Well, I should have won this one. I wasn't prepared because I was too busy worrying about my personal life. I'm sure you gave it your best shot. No, I didn't. I have to file an appeal. Well, see, that's great. You win the next time. Maybe, but it's not fair to put her through this again. It should be over for her. Would you stop it? Just stop it. Stop beating yourself up. I mean, you're not a machine, you know? I think the time to start worrying 
is when you allow your career to interfere with your personal life. My career is a very important part of me. It's a very important part of my life. I can't deny that. Next time you'll do better, you'll win. I intend to. You know, it's ironic. I argue with Mason about this all the time, about his career becoming more important than our personal life, and I'm furious at myself at this very moment because I can't do the same thing. Oh, oh, oh. Are bad. you okay? Mrs. Edmund, she's willed this on me because I ruined her case. I got a great idea. Why don't you take a massage? I can't. I don't have time. I have to save the world. Forget about the world. Save yourself. Oh, it's indulgent. People are starving. What's that got to do with anything? It doesn't. Just relax and get a massage. <sighs> Marion! Um... Mrs. Capwell would love a massage. Oh, great. I'll be right with her. Terrific. Excuse me, um, but I'd like to get a massage, please. Uh, well, Mrs. Capwell is, uh, I'm doing her first. Do you mind waiting? Which Mrs. Capwell is this? Uh, Julia? Do you mind waiting? Definitely. I'll just go and get ready. What happened? Not a thing. We found a few boats, but uh, none of them had seen the Sophia. We contacted my radio, no luck. The fog got fixed, so we came in. Any word from the Coast Guard yet? No, nothing at all. Where did you get the uh, Marine radio? Your father stopped by with Rick. I told him what happened. He went out and brought me this back. He and Rick are now um, talking to some fishermen to see if they saw the yacht go out. That he thought at least we could trace the search, the Coast Guard search. That's a great idea. He's always thinking. Does my, my mother still have the kids? Kids are upstairs. They okay? They're okay. Chip's asking for Eden. Maybe you could spend some time with him. Yeah, I should. Listen, I've been thinking. I've been thinking about how much Barr has at stake. I don't think he would hurt Eden, but particularly he would not take her out on the family yacht and hurt her. Well, I hope you're right. I think we disagree on what Robert Barr is capable of. You let me know if you hear anything. Yes. Mayday! 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 This is Eden Castillo. I'm calling from the yacht Sophia. I need help. Mayday! Eden! Yeah, we just picked up a Mayday call. That was the one. Did you contact her? Well, can't you track the signal? Mayday! Mayday, I'm calling from the Yacht Sophia. Mayday. Mayday, I'm calling from the Yacht Sophia out of Santa Barbara. Listen, friend, that was my wife. I want to know where she is, and I want to know now. No. Don't! Stop fighting. Stop! Me. I didn't want to have to do this. You don't understand. I do now. I swear, if you even come close to me, I'll use this. Chicago, I keep running into the same faces. Well, this one looks pleased. Well, well? Yeah, I think it did. I'd hire me. The director seemed impressed, so that's good. Oh, why wouldn't he be? <sighs> so how's, what's the Bryce Institute like? It's really great. People are wonderful. It sounds like a perfect job for me. Well, that's good. Well, what would you be doing? I'd be doing mostly family counseling, and then I'd get to do some extra work with teenagers. Well, you'd be good at that. Yeah, I know, if I could just get a chance. Oh, you will. Mm. So, what do you know about the home of Wrigley Fields? 
So that's where the chewing gum is made, right? <laughs> very funny, very <laughs> funny. Okay, students, time to open your textbooks to page one. <clears throat> All right, now, how many of you know that the city has one of the finest collections of French Impressionist art in the world? You knew that? I knew really? That. I knew that. Okay, all right, well, that's good, that's good, we'll see. Or that the, um, almost the entire city burned down in 1871. You knew that, too? Oh, come on, I yes. This. All right, okay. or, well, the tallest building in the world is here. Oh, well, wow. that, that's an Sears Tower. That's an okay. easy one, okay. Or that the city is named after the river the Potawatomi Indians call the Chicago. Uh -huh. I got you. Yeah, I got you. You got you on me. That you one. got me. You got me. Okay. You know what you need? Yeah, I need a muzzle. <laughs> no, I think you need a tour guide. So what are you saying? You want me to show you the sights? Would it matter if I didn't? Well, what else are you gonna do this evening? Come on, pilgrim. Let me introduce you to the uh, windy city. Okay, maybe for a couple of hours, and I gotta get back to the baby. Yeah. Hey, we'll save the best sight for last. Come on. Oh, uh. Uh, the Potawatomi who? Yo, hey, look, yeah. I read them. I think yeah, that's the important yeah. thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but you look so familiar. Have we met? No, I don't think so. Uh, maybe around the club or uh, in the office building. No, no, this is my first time here. No, wait a minute. I remember. I saw your picture. It was in the paper. Someone had accused you of murdering a man who wasn't even dead. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yes. I'm Sasha Schmidt. I'm Julia Capwell. Well, yes, I remember thinking that that story was so odd because... Well, because you just don't think things like that actually happen to people. I mean, so many criminals seem to get off on technicalities that you'd think if someone was really innocent, they'd never really be convicted. But if I, if I understood the story correctly, if your husband hadn't come in and saved the day, you would have had to stand trial for murder. Yes, I'd say that's what would happen. Right, yes. That's terrible. I'm not saying it wasn't awful for you, but I have to admit it all kind of sounded rather romantic, the way he just showed up and got you off the way he did. And hadn't he even managed to walk away from a plane crash or something like that? Mason is a flair for the dramatic. Well, that must have been quite a day, having... Having your husband come back to you and having all those charges dropped against you. I'm surprised the two of you just didn't fly away on some romantic holiday. Obviously, you've never been married. No, I'm not. But why do you ask? No reason. Oh. Well, actually, I, I am involved with someone right now. It's just there's a, there's a problem. He's, he's a bit tied up at the moment married you must think i'm awful i really don't think anything at all you know we really didn't want it to happen it just did it's hopeless isn't it i don't know well how many men do you know who have actually left their wives for another woman one you? It's a long story. Well, obviously you won. I guess. Do you have any regrets? No. So, if you love someone and you know that it's right, you should just go after it, right? Maybe we just lost the signal. And how come the Coast Guard lost it at the same time? I'm here. Where are you going? Um, I don't know. You cannot go back up there in the helicopter. The fog is worse. I can't sit around here. I've got to do something. I've got to go out there and at least look. But you don't want to get yourself killed in the meantime. I know how frustrating this is for you, but you've got to keep control. I'm okay. Call Mason, have him meet me at the Coast Guard station, and keep monitoring the radio. All right. Thanks. 
I'm not gonna hurt you, Evie. Yeah, you've got that right. Now fix the radio. I can't let you call crew. You're not gonna stop me. Now fix the well, radio. He wants to send me back to prison without even knowing what really happened. Yeah, well, why don't you just tell me what happened or tell Cruz what happened and stop tormenting me? You have to remember on your own. Once you do, then you will understand everything. I don't want to remember, so you better put it back on the radio. Otherwise, I'm gonna be forced to use this, and I'll do it myself. Let go of me! I'm sorry, Eden. I didn't want it to go this way. I know you don't want to remember, but there's no turning back now. Stop it! You're hurting me! Stop fighting me! Oh, is this what you really wanted? No, I want you to keep taking those vitamins. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, that'll be fine. Okay, I'll put you down for 11.30. All right, we'll see you then. I was told I would find Julia here. Well, she's getting a massage. Any idea how much longer she'll be? Oh, it shouldn't be much longer. Listen, I was going to work out. Why don't you join me? Well, as difficult as it is, would seem to turn down such an enticing offer, I think that's exactly what I'll do. That's too bad. Working out is great for stress. I have about as much as I can handle. Thank well, you. then get rid of it. You know, might make you feel better about yourself. Even make you feel better about the people you love. Is that your usual sales pitch, or was that one designed specifically for me? Take it any way you like it. Hi. 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 What are you doing here? Well, um... Uh, have you found Eden? No. I uh, dropped by the office uh, to see you and uh, got the message you were here. Oh, hi. hi. We were just talking about you. Oh? This is my husband, Mason Capwell. This is Sasha Schmidt. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, Miss Schmidt. Pleased to meet you, too, Mr. Capwell. So, uh, do you two exercise together often? Actually, we just met. Yes, but I feel as if we're old friends. Actually, your wife has been giving me some very good advice. If I wanted you this way, I could have had you this way on that island when we were marooned there. Now, you know I love you too much to ever hurt you. What do you think you're doing right now? You've kidnapped my husband, you kidnapped me, you're trying to destroy my family. Is that how you treat somebody you love? I can't go back to that prison. I can't give up my freedom and I can't give up a chance to be with you again. There is no chance. You have to see this through to the end, then you will understand everything. All right. You'll cooperate? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to go get something at the fruit bar. Can I get either of you anything? No. No. Thank you. Thanks. Mason, what are you doing in a health club? Believe me, the only thing that could lure me into this palace of prurient perversity is you. I heard what happened in court this afternoon. We'll just have to bone up for the appeal. Why are you being so nice to me? Guilt. Okay, that works. <laughs> Well, I really do have to get going. Um, it was nice meeting you, Julia. You too, Mr. Capwell. Oh, thank you. Thank it you. was nice meeting you, Sasha. I'm sure I'll see you again sometime. I hope so. I just knew when I moved here, this would be a friendly place. Where did you move from, by the way? Palm Springs. Oh, really? Mason was just there. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I just think it's a lovely place, don't you? Oh, yes. Very nice. Yes. Well, I really had better get going. I hope to see you both soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.
Fuck, you're arguing, baby. What is it? You should stay away from Robert. He is not the man for you. But you get out of my way. I've watched you. You're a wonderful and giving woman. You will only ruin your life. Stop it! I mean it! No! I'm tired of everybody telling you what to do now. Get out of my way! I did it. I killed him. Leidenschaft, Intrigen und Hass. Wie es weitergeht, erfahren Sie schon morgen zur gewohnten Zeit im California-Clan hier bei RTL.